Today I let a globe decide my career mode team. Yes boys, in today's video we're going to be spinning a globe to decide our FIFA career mode team. This is not an original idea by the way, it came up to my head but I'm pretty sure somebody has done it already. So no, I'm not claiming this idea to be mine but I hope you guys do enjoy because I'm pretty sure everybody's is going to be different. We shall see. First things first boys, we need to spin the globe to give us what club we should start at. So instead of spinning a globe like this, which is be pretty lame like, like this, that's pretty lame man. We're going to go ahead and click that button on the left side where it says I'm feeling lucky and it will take us to a random part of the world. So boys, whatever country comes out, we're going to put them in the Premier League because the Premier League is the best league to have. But boys, let's go ahead and click the I'm feeling lucky button and what country are we going to get and it's going to be oh. Mountain in Israel. There are no Israeli teams in this game, so we're gonna have to spin again. Okay, spin number two, boys. Come on, give us something. Volcano in Japan. So that means we get a Japanese side, man. Okay, boys, we went ahead and put Vissel Kobe just because Iniesta's in there and Fernando Torres used to play for the side. Torres, oh! to Chelsea. Okay, boys, we have to make sure we are in the Champions League because we're gonna compete for everything possible. And we're gonna go ahead and put them in the easiest Champions League group because I have no idea where this video is gonna go. Okay, boys, the rules in this video are simple. We're gonna spin the globe 11 times, one for each position. Wherever it lands on the country, we have to get a player from that country. But before we do start this video, make sure to subscribe. Only 87% of you guys are subscribed. We're trying to reach 3K at the end of the month. If you guys do subscribe, your favorite country will come out on the globe and we'll sign your favorite player. But anyways, boys, we're going to work from the top to the way bottom. The goalkeeper will be the last pick we do get to choose. Okay, boys, we're going to go ahead and spin the globe for our striker position. Let's see who we're going to get. And then, as you can see on the right, it is an instable Turkey. So I'm just going to go with the country itself, not the city. So we get to sign someone from Turkey in the striker position. In this video we do have one billion dollars because of the cheat engine so shout out to the cheat engine for helping us sign whichever player we want cheers jeff okay boys turkey for the striker position is probably one of the bad things that can happen to us but it could have been worse so we're gonna go ahead and go for turkish talisman and burak yomas he's probably gonna go down right away but he is the best striker in turkey are you sure about that okay boys burak yomas has joined the side let's go ahead and go to the left wing please we need at least one good attacker and everything should be fine man Okay, boys, for the left wing, give me Brazilian for Neymar or just give me anything decent. Maybe even Senegal for Mane. Let's go ahead and click the I'm feeling lucky button. And it's going to be Ireland in the Federates of what? What does that say? Okay, boy, this is the country of Micronesia and there are no players in the game. I just checked, so we're going to have to go ahead and spin again. But boys, let's spin again. Give me a good country and it's going to be California. So that is technically the United States. So we have to go for one player only, don't we? Oh, boys, I really don't like saying this, but I have to say it. The LeBron James of soccer, Christian Pulisic, will be our left wing for this video. Okay, boys, Pulisic, the LeBron James of soccer, has joined the side. Let's go ahead and finish up the attack with that right wing position. Okay, boys, give me Egypt, give me Argentina for Salah or Messi. Please give me a good country. Pulisic is not good enough. And 18th around this man of Paris. Is that in France? And yes, it is. That is France, I think. Okay, boys, so for that right wing position, we do get a French player. So let's see who we can sign. Okay, boys, I could have easily done what I usually do and be open. He sign Mbappe and put him in the right wing. But you know what? Let's not do that. So we went with Osmane Dembele. He's pretty decent to have in the team, but I could have. I wish I could have had Mbappe instead. Okay, boys. Mr. Hospital has joined the side. You know what? It's a pretty good start. It could have been way worse, man. Okay, boys. Let's technically finish off the last attacking slash midfield position. It is going to be the cap position. Look, if we get Spain, I'll go ahead and keep Iniesta just to make the video interesting. But let's see who we get. Okay, boys. We got French for the right wing. Let's see what we're going to get this time. And it is going to be Ternu Negru. That is in Brasov. Romania so we get a Romanian cam okay boys I'm actually pretty satisfied with who we're gonna go with he isn't the highest rated but we know how good he is from the Fiorentina career mode so Ianis Haji is gonna join the side and I'm really happy man okay boys Ianis Haji has joined the side boys and you know what for the next spin we're gonna go ahead and spin twice right away and get our next two center mids to speed up the video okay boys we have two spins in a row here for the center mids let's go for the first spin who we're gonna get and it is going to be Leitha it's a river in Europe is in Austria and Hungary you know what let's flip a coin it is going to be Austria for heads and hungry for tails. You know what, boys, to make this video more interesting, instead of flipping a coin and choosing one and possibly getting a huge country in the next one, let's use Hungary and Austria to sign our center midfielders. And you know what, boys, I'm actually very satisfied with the result because we get Marcel Sabitzer, 82 rated at center mid, and we get Dominic Sabotslai, the youngster who is 78 rated. So far, this team is not looking like they can win anything, but it's looking like a team that can actually survive the Prem so far. Okay, boys, we get two amazing center midfielders in Sabitzer and Sabotslai, boys. This video is going super good so far. But boys, up next is the danger zone. The most dangerous place to get a bad player, the defense. Okay, boys, we're going to go ahead and spin twice for the fullbacks unless we get a river like we did this time and wherever it borders, we can get both of those countries. But for the centerbacks, we'll go each individually and obviously the final one is going to be the goalkeeper, the decider of this video. 
So, boys, for the first fullback, it is, we're going to choose a left back, okay? For the left back, let's see. And it's going to be Italy, okay? So, we get Italy and Italian left back, which is probably not ideal because they have better right backs. And for the right back position, as we spin, and again in France. So, we get a French right back. Also not ideal. They have better left backs, so it's kind of vice versa here. Okay, boys, for the fullbacks, we're going to have Leonardo Spinazzola from Italy in the left back, and we're going to have Nori Mukulele in the right back position for France. Okay, boys, Spinazzola has been signed, and of course, Mukulele in the right back, but we now have the most three important positions in the game left. Let's see what we get. Okay, boys, for the first center back, let's see what we're going to get, and it's going to be Berlin Hachiba Memorial in Berlin, Germany. That's actually very good, man. For the first center back position, there was no question who we're gonna get from Germany. It is going to be Antonio Rudiger. Okay, boys, the first center back position has been completed in Antonio Rudiger. Okay, boys, for the last center back position, let's go ahead and spin the globe, and it's going to be Christian Zoo and Amusement Park. That's in Norway, man. Okay, a Norwegian center back? I'm not sure who we can get, man. Okay, boys, the center back we are going for is going to be Christopher Ayer. Okay, boys, Ayer has joined the side, and we now have one final position. Literally the most important position. If we get a shit goalkeeper, it doesn't matter who we have up top in the midfield or in front of him. We're going to do shit. But if we get someone amazing, we could possibly win the league title just with the goalkeeper. And you guys know exactly what country I want. I either want Italy or I want Slovenia or maybe even Brazil because those are have amazing goalkeepers. But let's go ahead. It's been the globe. I'm not going to look at the right side. I'm going to go ahead and block the right side so you guys can see. I'm going to wait till it lands on the map. And it's going to be... Oh, that's Bruce. That's Ecuador. That's it. I thought it was Brazil because we're in South America. No, boys. We have an Ecuadorian goalkeeper. I don't even know if they have someone good, man. Well, boys, my hope is down in the dumps right now. A 72-rated goalkeeper is the highest-rated goalkeeper in Ecuador. Boys, we're screwed this season. Okay, boys, Dominguez completes the squad, and here is the squad that the Globe has decided for us. And boys, I'm a little disappointed. You know what? I can't complain. The whole squad is really good, other than the fact that we have a pretty shit goalkeeper. But you know what? Let's see how it goes. So, boys, this team is going to be in every single competition. The whole point of this video is to see what they can win. But, boys, at this point, with that goalkeeper, I don't think we're winning anything, man. Okay, boys, make sure to leave your predictions down below. Do you think this team can win anything? Maybe even the Carabao Cup, man, but... Has the globe let us down? Did we get a good squad? There's only one way to find out. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of the season. Let's see if this globe has done us dirty or has done us good. Okay, boys, at this point, as much as I want to win something, I think top eight is an achievement. I think it's a dub, but as we scroll up, we already won, in my opinion, because we didn't run a game, so that's good. But as we scroll up, did we get in the top ten and... Dead ass in the middle, bro. Tenth place. I expected a little bit better. Okay, boys, Emirates FA Cup. Can we win that and... No, Chelsea have won it. Carabao Cup, possibly. Come on, give it to us and... Yeah, no, we have not won it. As for the Champions League, let's please at least get out of the group. Group H is going to be third place. Okay, that means we have Europa League. Can we somehow win that? Okay, boys, please tell me we at least got to the semis. Okay, if not, this whole this whole video is a loss. Preliminary round and where are we? We lost to Lazio. Yeah, this video is a loss, man. But boys, on the plus side, some of these players, they grow. Pulisic to an 85, Dembele to an 84, Yanis Hadji to a 79. The boss that went all the way up to an 83, which is amazing. Mukaleli to an 84, Ayer to a 79, and that's pretty much it, man. Okay, boys, if somehow Borak Yomas gets top goal scorer, that is absolutely insane. I sincerely doubt it, and it's going to be... Dominic Sobosnay from a center mid position with 18 goals. Yomas right behind. He almost proved me wrong with 17 goals. And Pulisic, 13 goals. Yanis Haji and the belly did shit, man. But boys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know this video has been done before, but I wanted to do my own part of it. Make sure to like and subscribe. We're trying to reach 3K by the end of the month. Make it happen. If you guys have not checked out my last video, make sure to check it out. That video ended until Derby County won the Premier League.